We're outside the uh, Mexican embassy, uh, but why are we doing this, Julia? Why are we going outside these embassies with this group? Okay, well today is the International Day to End Impunity, and there is a campaign um, that's been running since the 1st of, of November this year, so it's the 23rd of November today, and we have 23 names here on this board that, that Governor Roberta Smith has beautifully painted, um, drawing attention to 23 cases of um, persecution, torture, um, imprisonment of poets and writers, bloggers, musicians, artists, all of whom have been um, harassed for their expression. So it's drawing attention to that because their cases are just not being dealt with, they're not being looked at, they're not being taken to justice. And can you tell me about Lydia Cacho? So Lydia is a Mexican um, journalist. Um, she's an investigative journalist, probably most, one of the most prominent in her country, and as such has been persecuted and threatened and intimidated pretty much throughout her entire career. Um, she's now over about 30 years. And she's withstood all that for years and years and years, but now she's actually left the country this year. She got the most appalling threat. She got this, this message that she's a fucking bitch and she's going to be sent home in pieces. And, you know, this is on top of, of you know, years of harassment. She actually feels that she cannot stay in the country and continue to do her work. This painting of the, of the 23 names, it's, it's a beautiful thing. What did it feel like to be doing that? Well, it's great to make that painting uh, because I'm aware that a list of names is a list of names. And what I tried to do is to give each name a particular kind of character so that they had a, a particular flavour and uh, to kind of bring that out. And then actually, writing something, people who write and transcribe things are somehow being a witness to all of this and so somehow just forming the, those letters seemed quite a profound thing to be doing actually because you're sort of bearing witness to all of this activity which is dreadful that's gone on. So we're outside the uh, Syrian embassy at 8 Belgrade Square and uh, it might be obvious why we're here but we're going to be highlighting. Okay, so that he went to Sichuan after this terrible earthquake and he tried to highlight uh, a lawyer in Sichuan who was trying to represent the people in Sichuan who had been uh, crushed in these dodgy buildings which had collapsed and, uh, and he was beaten up. He came to, he came to uh, Germany to do a show, I think it was in Munich, uh, when Chris Durkov was there. And Chris Durkheim, who is now the director of the Tate, had to rush him to hospital because he had a hemorrhage. So he'd flown to China, he'd been beaten up in China, he flew to Munich to do this show, and then he had this kind of brain hemorrhage. And so he had to be operated on very quickly. So he is somebody really at the point he goes as an artist and he has this international career. But he actually was prepared to stand up really in the vanguard of this. 